2016 Tesla Model S. Customers complaining about this right there. Steering wheel is not, the scroll wheel has broken and it's pushed in. So I'm gonna show you how to replace these. First and foremost, um, we're gonna have to power the car down. So you go under vehicle and you wanna find safety and security click there you click on power off it'll ask you do you want power off you hit yes and well i'm sitting on the seat so as soon as it senses weight it turns it back on so let's try it again so let's go under safety and services power off let me move out of the seat okay cars power off now, you're gonna go in the trunk and uh, isolate the car because you're taking an airbag out. To get to the battery, the 12 volt battery sits right here and it's a high voltage loop. So we're gonna disconnect the battery and uh, disconnect this. So we're gonna take the panels off. It's pretty easy. You pop, you pop this out, you pop that out, and then you pop that out. So pop this panel out, pop the upper cover off. Now you're gonna take this out. To get to this, there's a drain hose. I'm gonna pull these down. There's another drain hose, a smaller one right here. Pop that down. And there's one, two, three clips. You're gonna take those out. So in order to lift lift this panel, there are little tabs right here. You know, press back, and it should lift up. So both corner has it. One is right here, and the other one is right here, right here. And these are the drain holes right there. You gotta pop them out too. One is bigger than the other one. But let's see. There's a drain hose right there. And this is what you're gonna take off. Same thing on the other side, right there. Now, we're gonna pull this air duct out. Let's pop it out. Okay, this is out. So there you go. This is a 12 volt battery right here. And this is a high voltage loop. So we're gonna Take 10 mil, take the negative off, and disconnect that. And that should isolate your car from the high voltage. Okay, so the took off the negative and disconnect the high voltage loop. So we're gonna wait a minute. Car should be isolated and then we'll remove the airbag. Okay, so the car is isolated. And even if I'm touching screen, nothing's coming on because the power is off. Okay, so we're gonna need T30 and a ratchet, and we'll try to take the airbag off. There are two screws, T30s. One is right here, and one is right here. So we're gonna take those off, and the airbag with the button, with that bezel, should pop off. Okay, once the screws are off, airbag you should be able to access airbag so like I was saying back up so like I was saying the airbag buttons and the bezel comes all together these are the bolts that um, that you gotta take them out these are t30 one is right here and one is oops, one is right here as you can see where my index finger is right there so you gotta take them off and then you just connect this connector and this connector and you should have the whole assembly in your hand. So along with these two connectors right here, one and two, one goes right here, one goes right here. You gotta take this, this connector off too. That is for a heated steering wheel. So disconnect that and you should have the whole assembly in your hand.
Okay, so I have the string wheel in my uh, the airbag assembly with the buttons in my hand, and that's what it looks like. So if if you want to go farther down, and if you want to uh, replace the steering wheel, or you have to take the steering wheel off for some reason, take this Allen bolt off, and steering wheel should be off. But before taking it off, make sure you mark where you taking the steering wheel off from, so you can realign it back where you took it off from. Next, I'll show you how to take these out and replace the buttons. So you gotta take one screw out here, take this off, and there's another screw right here, and same thing, one screw right here, and the other one screw, the other screw is right here. Once you take it off, there's a little tab right over here. You pull that back, and these button assemblies should pop up. So you disconnect this logic connector right there and this little connector this little connector as well same goes here this logic connector needs to come off and to get this off I'll show you what i did so these are the tabs and out of there and there's a tab right there Where, yep. right over here you push that back and this pops out so there we go just took it out same thing two connectors and And this is my partner just uh, took it apart and let's see if I can figure out where the cage oh, right there this cage is broken so that's why it's not working so we're gonna replace it with new assembly okay so the buttons buttons are installed right there now we're gonna plug it back in and see if they if these buttons are responding they should respond Okay, so now the airbag assembly back in the steering wheel. We're gonna power up the car and we'll test these buttons out. Okay, so let's test it out. So volume is working. Okay. And it switches channels as well. As you can see. So raise up the volume. I'm Knight. Let's learn how kids sleep, ski, and eat breakfast free. Plan your winter vacation at crystalmountain.com. So yeah, this is it. Snowcountry.com. I mean, change the channel. May your team be swift and their aim true. May the rest be forever in your favor. And there you go. Well, this is it. So we finished with this car. Hope you guys like it.